It was for the first time that the World Cup was staged after a gap of five years. The 1992 World Cup was a tournament of many firsts. It was this edition that the number of teams participated extended beyond eight, nine total teams. South Africa made their World Cup debut in this edition. The teams weren't divided into groups. Each of the nine teams played each other and the top four went into the semis directly. Hello and welcome to Samson Bale's YouTube channel. I am your host Abhinand. The novelties didn't just end there. It was for the first time in the history of tournament that the World Cup was played under lights. Teams wore colored jerseys, the ball was white. It was almost stepping into the unknown. Australia and New Zealand were the joint hosts for this edition, which was yet another first. Not many teams and captains adapted quickly to the changing dynamics and the few who did excelled in this edition. So now let's look at the two of the biggest game changers of this 1992 World Cup. Martin Crowe. It was this World Cup that started the tradition of awarding the best player of the World Cup. Martin Crowe was officially announced as the player of the series at the end of the World Cup final. The award was not just a result of his numbers with the bat. It was also down to his tactical nouns and ability to stay ahead of this game. Martin Crowe had an outstanding World Cup with the bat. He was the highest run scorer with 456 runs in 9 games at an average of 64. Crowe's strike rate of 90.83 during the World Cup remains the highlight. His brilliant leadership qualities. The other fact that the predominant made a news was his leadership. Despite being co-host, nobody had expected New Zealand to outsmart the big guns. They weren't on many people's list when it came to the top four. It was genius of Crowe that saw New Zealand get on a roll in the World Cup. They topped the group table with seven wins and one loss. New Zealand won all their seven games to put their feet into the semi-finals. His quick innovations. Crowe's idea of sending Mark Greg Beth as an opener to maximize field restrictions came in the four-match appreciation. In the bowling, he asked Deepak Patel to bowl in with the new ball. This move took everyone by surprise as it was probably the first time as a spinner operated with the new ball in ODIs. The fact that the World Cup was played in Australia and New Zealand made this decision look even bolder. In number two, Wasim Akram. He had established himself as a potent force until the World Cup came about. The 1992 World Cup though remains a crowning moment in Wasim Akram's glowing cricketing career. He remained as an understudy to Imran Khan ever since he made his debut. The 1992 World Cup final was passioning the bonfire of one of the Pakistani legends. Akram's big dance in the Khan's last cricketing lap. Pakistan was called the Corner Tigers and Khan was their charismatic leader. He literally handheld Akram and Vaskar Yunis during their younger days. Akram wanted to step up for his captaincy on what might be the biggest cricketing days ever. Pakistan batted first against England in the final. Their innings appeared to be going nowhere before the heroics from Izzam Ullak and Vasim Akram saw them post a challenging score of 249 for 6. Akram in particularly smashed a quick fire 18 ball 33 laced with the four force to hand Pakistan the momentum going into the second innings. Sultan swings in Pakistan's way. If he was effective with the bat, he was deadlier with the ball. Akram removed another world-class all-rounder Ian Bothan earlier in the innings. He returned in the 35th over to literally kill the game with the outstanding outburst of reverse swing bowling. Akram removed Alan Lamb and Chris Lewis of successive deliveries to put Pakistan firmly in the place for their Made in World Cup win. It remains one of the greatest all-round performances in one of the World Cup finals across all formats. Akram surprisingly was also the leading wicket taker in this tournament with 18 wickets. So that's it for today. Make sure to hit that like, share and subscribe button and press the bell icon to stay notified. Also follow our social media handles mentioned below in the description. Until next time, I'm your host Abhinandan signing off.